How to blur out faces in Adobe Premiere Pro? That's a very common question for beginners as well. And you see that a lot in documentaries when you don't have the permit to show that person in the video or in prank videos. And this also applies to blurring out license plates uh, on cars. That's a very common scenario to using this technique. And let's uh, take a look how it's done. All right, we're on a timeline and we got this guy looking around here with this clip selected. Head over to effects and search for mosaic. Apply the mosaic effect to the clip. And under the effect controls, you just have to find the settings that work best for you. Just keep in mind that this is taking the ratio of the video into account. So you might want to adjust accordingly. Probably want to get those pixels as square as possible. That's what most viewers are probably used to. Now with this effect applied, you want to mask this out. So under the mosaic effect, hit this ellipse mask icon, which is going to create a mask. Now move the mask over to the face. I actually want to start at the beginning of the clip, adjust the size to cover the face. And with these two handles on the top right of this mask, you can actually adjust two things. The mask expansion, which is going to change the masked area without actually changing the shape of the mask. So you can adapt to the footage very quickly. And the other handle is actually the, the feather. Resize it a little bit, make it a little bigger because he's looking up later in the video. This looks about right. And now from here, we actually wanna track this mask. There's a handy function. When the mask is not changing, this is a very handy function to kinda do all the work for you and have Premiere Pro tracking the motion. There are other things in terms of rotoscoping that you wanna do. We had done that in another video where this doesn't really apply, but in this case, it's the perfect thing to do. So we actually just wanna track forward that mask. So hit that track selected mask forward button right here and Premiere Pro will do its thing. And as you can see, when he's looking up, Premiere Pro is doing a pretty decent job actually following that motion. And when he's looking back again, the mask will still follow his face. That's it. So let's see what it looks like. Let's play this. Perfect track of our mask. And even when he's looking up, the mask is just following the face. As mentioned, this also applies to license plates or, or logos on clothes. That's a very common scenario when you blur that out. And you see that a lot in documentaries prank videos, blurring out the face is a very common thing. Yeah, that's basically how it's done. So what did we do? We actually, we just selected the clip. We applied the mosaic effect. We applied a mask. We adjusted the shape of the mask to the area of interest. Then we tweaked the settings, mask feather, mask expansion. And then once the mask is in place, we hit the track forward button and Premiere Pro actually tracked this area of interest and blurred out the face. That's the pixelated face, face blur sensor, blur effect in Premiere Pro. So if you learned something new, feel free to hit the like button and I will see you in the next tutorial.